Hello my awesome crafty fans! For today's video, I am going to be showing you how to turn this maxi skirt into a dress. So if you want to learn how, keep on watching! So the first thing I will do is cut off the waistband. By the way, crafty fans, this skirt is size medium and the fabric is 100% rayon, which is perfect for summer. It also has a little bit of stretch to it. I will seam rip the side seam about 8 inches in on both sides. If you have bigger arms, this may vary. And then I will carefully seam rip it. I'm very careful not to poke or rip the actual fabric. It should look something like this. Now it's time to figure out which side is going to be the front and back. So once you decided which side, you're going to fold it in half like this and make a notch right at the center. So this is going to be the center back of the dress. And I will do the same for the front of the dress. I'm going to fold it in half and cut a notch to mark the center front of the dress. Now I am going to trace a neckline. So I'm just going to curve it on the edge right here. And then I will trim it off. Be sure to add about one half inch seam allowance. I will do the same for the back of the dress. I am just going to use the fabric that I cut out as my guide, but I'm going to cut the back neck a little higher than the front. Now you should have something like this. Now it's time to sew the shoulder seams right here. As you can see here, I searched the raw edges. If you don't have a serger, you can always do a zigzag stitch. Now it's time to add some shape on the dress because right now it is pretty baggy. So I tried on the dress and I mark where my natural waistline is. And then I will be using this bias tape. This is about one half inch wide. So I'm going to wrap it around the waistline. And the elastic that I am using is a quarter of an inch. So here I'm just marking where the waistline is. So I'm just going to trace a straight line. I'm just making sure that it's going to be symmetrical. And then I will place the bias tape right where I put the marks. Then I will pin it all the way around until I reach the other end where I started. And then I will top stitch the bias tape on the fabric. This dress is actually very similar to one of my favorite dress that I ever made here on YouTube. So if you want to check that out, I will leave the card up there. Here I am sewing the casing closed. And you will have something like this. As you can see, I left both ends open so I can feed the elastic through. Now I'm just going to feed the elastic through the casing. And then I will evenly distribute the elastic. Then I secured the elastic using a safety pin and I tried it on just to make sure the waistline fits properly. 
After I tried it on, it fits really well so I marked the elastic and sew it together and I trim off the excess elastic. And then I will sew the casing closed and trim off the excess bias tape. Now all I have to do is finish the neckline. I will fold it twice and sew it all the way around. I will do the same thing on the sleeves. By the way, when you are sewing the neckline, be sure that you don't stretch the fabric or else the neckline is going to be wonky and wavy and that is not a good look. As you can see, the dress is a little too short for my style, so I decided to add a long strip of fabric just to add length. I also already have a tutorial for that, so I didn't include that in this video, but if you want to go ahead and check it out, I will leave it in the card up there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and Friday. I will see you in my next video. Bye!